Hi, everybody. Okay, so uh, the bill, what does it do? Uh, I'm just going to give a quick rundown, three minutes again, so this is not an extensive review. Okay, the review is starting on my page. I've already got the nuts and bolts written down there, and uh, you can go and look at that. But basically, this bill that's here now is a CDC-specific bill. It's got nothing to do with changing basics cards, which will be going voluntary under the ALP. CDC is being repealed completely from the entire Social Security Act. So it will no longer be in existence after this bill passes, within a certain period of time after this bill passes. Okay, the bill repeals the CDC. It also... Um, extracts CDC legislation from all the other acts that it's been embedded, all the tendrils that it's of, of the other acts in the Social Security Act and other legislation where it's been put. So housing, um, the Family Tax Benefit Act and etc. The bill guarantees that your income will return to your bank account. It provides an, an absolutely no documentation, no information required, seven day process from the 19th of September. You call in and you're off seven days later. That applies to the original four trial sites and to some people in the Northern Territory. And I need to be very clear about that because there's been a lot of controversy that the there are around 3,900 people on the cashless debit card in the Territory right now. Of that group, there are volunteers, there are people who have been referred by community bodies, people who have been referred by the court system and diversion programs. So, and then there's a whole bunch of people who have been um, put on the CDC from being in the wrong place at the wrong time when the, um, when the community has made a decision. So I want to let you know if you're living in the Northern Territory that if you are a volunteer, you can apply to exit now simple. If you are a person who was in the wrong place at the wrong time, you will be able to exit the same as the four original trial sites. But if you were referred already to basics cards, like if you meet one of the four categories that is in place for income management in the territory, given that the entire territory is an income management zone, um, you know, you will be able to go back to basics and that legislation will be undertaking some alterations from October 22nd, which is when the instruments actually come up for the first time in 10 years, that program can be changed in October. So there's lots coming for basics as well. But this bill and the one to come later this year that Amanda Rishworth has talked about are only about the CDC. So this bill defines who will stay and who will go. Okay, if you're in the current four trial regions, you will be able to get off straight away. If you are previously have been uh, referred to income management, you will stay on the basics cards once the CDC goes. So you'll transfer back to basics for the short time between, um, you know, ending CDC and the process starting to um, make income management voluntary. Uh, income management going voluntary is a process and that is a goal and a part of the policy of the ALP. So they're not expanding and extending for any, they're not extending for any longer than they have to, but they're not expanding income management, just so you're aware. The, this bill gives the minister all the powers she needs now um, to selectively prune the income management tree right back down to necessities, meaning that the bulk of people on basics cards now will be able to come off under voluntary conditions. Um, they're just being awfully careful not to completely stuff up those parts that really do have to stay um, because they're involving federal laws of a different nature. So this legislation is very specific. Um, and then, of course, you've got FRC regions. Yes, I know about Noel. I've, I've yeah, it's a unique program, even from the territory program. Like it's completely different to normal basics cards program and normal IM. And that community, the four communities, sorry, that make up the Fraser Co uh, 
I've done it again, Catherine, the Families Responsibilities Commission, um, they have chosen to go back to basics. And um, for as long as, you know, I know in 2019, they were having discussions about coming off income management as well. So hopefully those discussions can now resume on country up there. But that's a decision for them. It's certainly not a decision for us. And it's certainly not a decision for anybody except people directly involved. And I want to be really clear to a lot of people that are currently mouthing off about this right now is that this is a decision basics cards is the decision that has to be made by the northern territory communities and communities of shepparton and in adelaide as well south australia as well these are the communities that are directly impacted and they get to choose and decide their fate their future um, and for respect and because it is the right thing to do um, we should not be posing our opinions and imposing our views upon that process if communities want to stay on income management that is their right and their choice and they should be allowed to do that if they want to come off that is their right and their choice and they should be allowed to do that we only stand as support vehicles to amplify their voices when they speak we don't speak for aboriginal people we never have and we made a promise a long time ago and we have stuck to that so basically cdc is going it will be no more and basics cards will be quite quickly though carefully and in a structured manner transitioning to a voluntary process okay after 15 years the door is finally open in the territory and other places to end income management as a compulsory measure so big stuff is happening and I'll talk to you soon goodbye <laughs>